a man who I just met today. I imagine he's great. David, everybody! Right. I've been in the corner. I'm here, I make this uh, podcast series called Lunar Poetry Podcast, and some of you will have been bothered by me early giving you a leaflet. I'm recording the evening. If anyone doesn't want to appear in the programme, please say before you're set that you don't want to be recorded, and I won't record you. So it's a Lunar Poetry Podcast. Um, Myself and my wife are also part of a group called Poetry on the Picket Line and we go out uh, in disputes in support of unions and workers. We were most recently out with LSE cleaners because basically LSE University weren't given them the same rights as full-time employees, including any form of holiday pay and only statutory sick pay. Um, they won that dispute. And it probably wasn't anything to do with poetry, but uh, <laughs> we were there anyway. It almost certainly wasn't anything to do with poetry. I wrote this poem, talking about poems that uh, won't piss off and stop meaning the same thing. We, um, I wrote this the last time. We moved last week. Uh, the last time it, I moved was two years ago, and this shit is still relevant. It's about having to leave South London, which you might have noticed on, not from around here. <laughs> It's a found poem from sparerun.co.uk. I made up one of the lines and I can't remember which one is made up. But it doesn't matter. And your bills will be split between four and we can just draw up a rotor for the oven and you will be sharing with creatives and all cleaning products are included. And this is one of the better parts of Peckham and the room overlooks an impending park and no DSS, sorry, agent stipulation but ours. An elephant and castle is becoming so vibrant and there's no living room and agents fees apply, and Borough Market is just a bus ride away, and the breakfast bar seats too, free at a push, and we all respect each other's privacy. And you'll get your own cupboard in the kitchen, and no couples, sorry, agent stipulation not ours, and it would suit someone working nights, and you'd be sharing the bedroom with two Italian guys, and it's a super fun area with great travel connections. And there's a futon in the kitchen and it's a great deal because the landlord isn't supposed to be subletting and we're all recent graduates and we all work in the city and we're two gay guys and we're, we're three single women and the room would suit someone similar. And there's a coffee shop that does an amazing flat white on the same street and sorry but I'm working from home and I'm only leaving the flat because I've got the chance to travel around Asia and this is not a party house and you'll be close to some great galleries and bars and no loud sex noises please and we're all really sociable and that's why there's a fold down table in your bedroom for mealtimes.